A Hamilton man is relieved that he is no longer facing criminal charges for something that happened during an epileptic seizure. But he is still dealing with injuries from his encounter with police. Well, tonight there are new calls for mandatory police training on epilepsy. Al Sweeney reports. Marcus Charles still has the scars from being handcuffed and held down by police 15 months ago. But he's thrilled that prosecutors have dropped the charges against him. I feel like a million bucks, man. I'm, I'm so happy. In October 2022, Charles was having an epileptic seizure outside the store where he worked on Main Street in Hamilton. <laughs> Paramedics called police who used tasers on him. His friends called police because he was in trouble. He was having a seizure. And at the end of the day, my clients on the ground having been tased twice and assaulted multiple times by police officers. With Charles recovering from injuries, he faced criminal charges. After the incident here, Charles was charged with three counts of assault, including one charge of assaulting a police officer. Charles says he doesn't remember what happened during the seizure. He just remembers waking up in handcuffs with his store manager telling police what they were doing was wrong. He was sitting there the whole time like, guys, this isn't right, making sure and having everything on film and just telling them, like, he didn't do anything. He's having a seizure. Like, why, why are you guys handcuffing him? The justice system unfortunately failed uh, at every level here. His lawyer says Charles was treated like a criminal when he actually needed medical help. And the Canadian Epilepsy Alliance says police training on epilepsy should be mandatory. The Alliance says there are already training videos available for police like these showing what to expect from seizures, which can look different from person to person. It's okay. It's okay. Where are the police? If the police did nothing at all in this situation, that still would have been better than what happened. Like, when someone is having a seizure, you do not hold them down. And by no means do you tase someone when they're having a seizure. Charles is considering legal action against the police as he still recovers from his injuries. This is as far as I can lift my shoulder without it feeling like it's gonna like full fledged like pop out of like my arm. The Hamilton police say they respect the Crown's decision to drop the charges on the basis that Charles had no intention to commit assault while he was having a seizure. And note that the Crown argues the police acted lawfully and reasonably with what they knew at the time. Al Sweeney, CHH News, Hamilton.